Okay, so now that we've understood the five characteristics of perfect competition, let's do a really basic, simple example. So let's construct a table. On the table, we're gonna have price, quantity, total revenue, average revenue, and marginal revenue. Hypothetically, let's just say that in this particular market, the price that firms have to sell this good for is 10 pounds. So we're gonna populate this table with 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds. Now, the quantities one, two, three, and four. Let's fill out the column for total revenue first. Well, 10 times one, 10. 10 times two, 20, and so on and so forth. 10, 20, 30, 40. Now by yourself, fill out average revenue. Very, very basic maths again. Total revenue divided by quantity gives us the average revenue. So we get 10 divided by one, 10. 20 divided by two, 10. 30 divided by three, you get the idea. Can you see a pattern? Average revenue is equivalent to the price of 10 because of course, if every single unit that you're selling is 10 pounds, your average is consistently 10 pounds. Let's fill out marginal revenue. Marginal revenue, if you remember, is the additional revenue that you gain from an extra sale. Well, when I sold from one unit to two units, my revenue went up from 10 to 20, 10. From two to three, it went up by 10 and so on and so forth. And of course, that should make sense because if you're a price taker, you have to accept that every single unit that you sell is gonna be 10 pounds. That is why marginal revenue and average revenue are equal to one another in perfect competition. That is why they are perfectly elastic because you as a price taker have to accept that that is what you sell your good for. Check out the video that goes in more depth in terms of the diagram, especially the transition diagram between the short run and long run, and I hope that was useful.